1958, the US Air Force quietly commissioned a study with an innocuous name, a study of lunar research flights. Inside, it held plans for a very different mission, deliver a nuclear warhead to the moon and detonate it where the flash could be seen from Earth. The objective? Primarily public relations, as well as international diplomacy. Physicist Leonard Raphael, who led the project at the Armour Research Foundation in Chicago, later admitted that the military wanted a spectacular demonstration to reassure the world of American might. A peaceful scientific side benefit, studying lunar dust and space composition, was added almost as camouflage. Among the young researchers was a graduate student, whose name you might be familiar with, Carl Sagan, tasked with calculating how dust clouds would expand after the blast. His equations would help scientists and the military determine whether the explosions would produce the desired light halo that would be visible to backyard telescopes. Initially, planners considered a hydrogen bomb, but early rockets couldn't lift such a heavy payload. Instead, they settled on a smaller W-25 warhead, roughly 1.7 kilotons, about one-tenth the size of Hiroshima. The target, the moon's terminator, the line between night and day, so the explosion would be dramatically backlit by the sun. 